Oh, I'm sorry you lost your family medical. Yeah, well, they're dead. That's how that story ends. But not everybody's story has to end with Ooh, losing their family and their loved ones. And not all the bounty hunting I do is for criminals or killers. What do you mean? There's a lot of lost people out there. Scattered ever since the Mandalorian Wars. And sometimes, it's like you can almost hear them. Like an echo, calling out for each other. And maybe, just maybe by finding them, I can start putting the galaxy back together. All things are connected to the Force. From such acts of kindness, great things may come. The galaxy doesn't care for us. Maybe. We'll see. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. But you're not getting anything else out of me. Fair enough. Let's leave it then. Alright, influence. Yeah, something wrong. That's not the question I want to ask. Were you raised? Yeah, more or less. Here we go. I wasn't born there. I just ended up there. What happened to your family? Well, the war happened. The first one against the Mandalorian. Here we go, we're making progress. Had family right up until the end. It's not really a new story, you hear it all over the galaxy. It's what happens after the wars are over that you don't hear much about. They died in the final battle? I think so. After Revan crushed the Mandalorians, planets throughout the Republic were flooded with refugees. I was just one of the others. Me? I got passage to Narshada. From there, not much you can do, so I became a bounty hunter. I was your lost your family micro five. <laughs> There were no colonies. It was a taboo world to the Mandalorians. Take a guess, Jedi. Only two groups of people would have lost family at Malachor. And Jedi don't have families. Oh, They're a Mandalorian? As much as any slave becomes a Mandalorian. They took prisoners on every world they conquered to bolster their ranks. Oh shit, she's a Mandalorian. I, I forgot about that. You were a slave? When I was young, yeah. They mostly used me to carry ammo packs and munitions. Toward the end of the war, they needed everyone they could get. They taught me to fight, to hunt, to survive. I was part of their squad, even when I was young. Everyone served as part of the unit, and I, I felt like I had a place there. After Malachor, it really didn't matter anymore. Mandalorians lost. Bad. But you know that. I regret the loss of life in Malachor, but there was no choice left. You don't sound too happy about it. Mandalorians uh, deserve to be crushed, Malachor. You should be pleased. <laughs> I know. I saw the worlds they left behind them during the war. That kind of stays with you. I haven't forgotten it. What happened at Malachor, they... They probably deserved it. You don't sound too happy about it. Should I be? Maybe I should ask you if you're happy about all the Jedi who died on Malachor V. Maybe it felt like you lost family there. But I doubt it. Mmm... They had to be stopped. Yeah. I know. I saw the worlds they left behind them during the war. That kind of stays with you. I haven't forgotten it. What happened... Oh, okay. Never mind. Life died! Something wrong? Questions? Go ahead, yes. Uh... Let me see. Between I you and Hanar. What do you mean? Do you really want to hear this? Yeah, I'd like to know what happened. I'm good, aren't I? Well, Hanar and me go way back. In the worst possible way. He's from some forest planet on the outer rim where Zerka had set up one of their slaving Kashyyyk, bitch! It's called Kashyyyk. Know your Star Wars planets, damn it! Do you know the name of the homework? I don't remember the name. Something with too many K's and Y's. It sounds like you're gargling Ronto spit when you say it. Kashyyyk. Yeah, I'm not gurgling. <laughs> what do you know of that? What species he is? No idea. He's just on her. I hope there aren't any more like him. I get the impression he's not a good representative of his people, though. He's the equivalent of a mad calf hound among Rontos. Some of Vogel the Het's men said Hanhar killed his own tribe. Ooh. But those two crud thugs lie every time they open their mouths, so who knows? <laughs> uh, so he was a slave? Well, not for long. Once off planet, Hanhar escaped from the Zerka slavers and killed them all. Nice. Why was he wearing those cuffs? I don't know. I always thought he just liked using them as weapons. It, it's good he broke free. Nothing deserves to be caged. Sounds like Zerka... If they weren't strong enough to hoard him, then they deserve to die. <laughs> Sounds like Zerka deserved it. Well, before you get too proud of him, Hanhar figured Zerka had the right idea. I don't think he understood the concept of slavery before, at least on the scale that Zerka practiced it. Ooh. But now he did. You ever hear of Dursan Three or the ID Cluster Colonies? Uh, you lost me there, so I'm just going to go with intelligence. Even though I sound stupid right now. Right. That's because Hanhar happened. Oh. He makes what happened to his home world look like an exercise in community building. He's not a bounty hunter. He's a slaver. A predator. It's like he's out to enslave or kill every human in the galaxy, like he's trying to settle some huge score or debt. High score. I don't get it, but he's dangerous. 
Who do you, who did he work with? Anyone who paid credits. And sometimes he just hunted humans for sport. The ones who survived, he sold to the exchange, to the huts, to anyone who'd buy bodies, living or dead. He and Voga used to do big credit transactions. That hut really liked the look of unwrinkled humans for some reason. Didn't make him too popular with the other huts, let me tell you. So how did how do you factor in? I was prey. And not only did I escape, but I saved his life while doing it. Huh. He's been hunting me ever since. So he wants to capture you. I don't pretend to understand it, but among his people, they have these codes of honor. But somewhere along life the line, debts. Honhar's got twisted. His people form these things called life debts. If you save the life of one of them, they pledge themselves to you. That doesn't sound too bad. Well, with Honhar, he can't escape that life debt. It's bred into him. But he hates every other living thing in the galaxy, so pledging himself to someone else, especially a human, was like bearable. So when I saved his life, it was the worst thing I could do. It was like slavery all over again. But it was in his head. It was like it pushed him over the edge. <laughs> what do you mean? A life debt to Hanhar is a death sentence. He'll hunt you until you're dead. When I saved his life, it meant he had to kill me. And so he kept chasing me in hopes I would die. I think the fact I showed him mercy after hating humans for so long, that was something he couldn't stand. That life debt makes no sense. What if someone else saved his life? Would he try to kill them? Probably. But if he had multiple life deaths, <clears throat> especially to humans, Hanha would probably go mad. He was angry before, sure, but he'd be ten times worse if that happened. Worse? Hanha's tough. Really tough. And when he loses it, it's like nothing can stop him. I've seen him shrug off blaster bolts, boff and stunners, and even survive a freighter crash on Dursan 3. He Damn. Coming. <laughs> the life debt makes no sense. Yeah, tell me about it. Like I said, I get the impression a life debt's supposed to be a gift. But to Hanhar, it's more like a curse to both people involved. Uh, any regrets that he's gone? No, oh, I'm glad he's gone. It's like a weight off my shoulders. I don't have to keep watching my back every minute. Push your He's gonna show up. And he always did. It's like he always knew where I was. He could smell that booty. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Life died. Yeah, something. Go ahead. Question. Man. Uh let's talk. About what? Uh better. Are you trying to be my mother? No thanks. Nothing. Okay, I guess that's it. Alright, let's go see if I can turn into a Jedi. I influenced her just once, so I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, you guys, the only way to turn into a Jedi is by going to this like you see that center part right there that's the only place you can turn her into a Jedi okay I influenced her just once so hopefully that's enough to turn her I just hope I've seen I, I've had occasions where that was be possible but this is the turning point if you can convince her to feel the force of Narshada you know feel Narshada's force you know feel all of Narshada if you can convince her you got her as a Jedi or a Sith if you want to be an asshole. <laughs> Alright, let's stick to the sides. Maybe something will happen. Yeah, why don't we just talk with her? So. Oh, no, no, nothing. Yeah, something wrong? Oh, she's gonna ask. Uh, I've killed targets. people before. But you didn't seem to hold back when you were with me. I know. It's different. I don't know why. Are you okay? I don't know. I, I haven't killed anyone for a long time. But when I'm around you, suddenly it's like I've always been doing it. It's like a reflex. I don't like it. And I don't know when or why it became so easy. Huh. Please tell me it's right here. Hold on, Mira. God damn it, Mira. Yeah, something wrong. Uh. Go ahead, and ask. Let me see, Narshada again? Yeah, more or less. Uh. Let me ask her about well, the, the family. Happened. It's what happens after the war. Go uh, ahead. 
questions. Uh, let me see. Kill targets. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. Go ahead. Questions. Then. Fuck. Never mind. Son of a bitch. How do I convince her? Hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Alright, I think I found it. Okay, let's go back to the Evan Hawk. Just so I can continue conversation with her. If I do this, I might be able to do something with uh, Kraya to turn into a Jedi. So, hold on. Let's see. Because right here I'm looking at the guide and... Amir's is the more complicated one compared to, to the other ones. Hers is hers is a little bit more complicated cuz you have to you have to uh like you know uh it's 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 a left and it's like you have to go and back, go and back. It takes a little bit longer. Cuz I have to go to the Evan Hawk to talk with her and see if something happens. What up? Message from Kelborn. What is it? You got a message from Kavar? Yes, we should return to the Mandalorian camp as soon as possible. I don't care how urgent it is. I'll return to Ducks and feel. Okay, I got the message. Oh, 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 remote battle. Hey, 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 hey. I'm over here. Hey, pay attention. Hey, follow me. Oh fuck. Of course. It would be my pleasure. Meditation, Envy? Why don't you go sit on a rocket? Calm down. What is your problem? I don't want to talk about it. Alright, you know, Atten, sometimes it's no wonder you can't figure yourself out the way you lie to yourself all the time. I've hunted a lot of people in my line of work, but I never met someone who wants to get lost more than you do. I've got a pretty good idea why, but not the whole picture. I will, though. My advice? Come clean before I find out. And stop watching her. She's got enough problems. <laughs> I wish to show you something. What? Not with words, but by feeling it. With the force. Close your eyes. Ooh. Feel Ooh. The Ooh. Strip away the light. Someone is creating an echo. A resonance in the force. Someone is consuming life, using it to feed their hunger. Each dying world creates an echo in the force. And as the echoes build, it becomes a noise. Deafening. Destructive. It touches all life in ways that are invisible to see. The darkness, the despair created from such events breeds and grows. Someone is bringing the dark side to the galaxy through destruction. A critical point is approaching. That sucks. Received word from Kelborn on Duxon that Master Kavar has an urgent message for you. Kelborn asked you to return to Duxon as soon as possible. Sure, no problem. Yeah, something wrong? Uh, something I want to ask. You seem restless. It's all this traveling. Being trapped in the ship. Everything's, everything's just too quiet. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, too quiet. I'm really doing something somewhere with people, activity, some life. Like Narshada? Were you you were you ra like Narshada? Yeah, it's been a while since I've been off planet. Guess I got used to it. How so? Well, Narshada may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it, activity. Aliens, people, refugees, it's like noise, but relaxing, like the hum of a hyperdrive. 
Pretty sure we had to listen to Narshadaw.